Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be checking out the new Extravi's reshade presets. Now, he actually has up the updated his preset and it's way better than it was before. Um, it's way more optimized and it runs well. Now, the preset here is very simple and very easy to get. There's no scam, there's no viruses, there's nothing. It's even been checked by Norton to be very safe. The website is safe itself. Um, and I'll be just go over some pros to actually use this preset over something like Zeals. So pretty much with this setup, you do not need to have administrator permissions. So what that means is when you hit download and you go through the setup, it will not ask you for admins uh, permissions. You don't have to type in a password or anything. You just quickly hit install and uh, you know, it just downloads for free. Second up, this is an all open source, so there's nothing hidden in the code. You can go in the code yourself and take a look. There's no viruses, there's nothing which, unlike Zeal, is not open source. And pretty much the presets just look really, really nice. There's pretty much a lot, there's a couple presets in there to choose from now. Now there's even a community preset and there's different uh, options to choose. You can go all the way down to low, so if your PC can't handle it well. You can go medium, high, ultra, and there is a reflective preset, as well as two brand new presets, which are, which was, he said, I actually, he actually DM'd me over on Discord, and he said that, that there, those two new presets were added only four days ago, so those are very new, and I'm glad I'm making the video now, so I can actually show you guys those two presets. Um, they're both community made presets, by the way. So, without any more rambling, let's just show you guys what this, uh, what this, uh, reshades look like all right okay, so i'm in the game right now and i'm actually using the new community preset this here is the ultra preset on the community section i did go ahead and turn off a couple settings here uh i don't know what this error is up there it, it didn't see, it doesn't seem to affect anything in my game but i turned these off let me turn them back on so as you guys can see it just blurs the background a little bit and makes it kind of blurry here and there depth of field effects that's pretty much what they are now i don't really like those me personally so, but as you guys can see the game looks really really nice here uh, let me turn them off this is before and after and i did forget uh, to turn my graphics down Oop, there you guys go all right so this is before after as you guys can clearly see the difference it's pretty dull looking here and it's nice and bright i do want to try one other option out with the medium preset I will show you guys all the other ones, by the way, let me just quickly show you guys, so here's the medium, I like the medium one better, I don't know, I just think it's much crisp looking, in my, uh, yeah, you see, it just looks cleaner, in my opinion at least, now I'm going to put on the, uh, the low to show you guys what that looks like, so if you don't want a high one, you can put on the low, uh, so as you guys can see, low, looks very similar, just not as much, or no reflectance at all, so ultra this is it there is just again the depth of field effect thing and there it goes this is good for screenshots so if you guys actually like these presets and like these things i will go ahead and show you guys how to download that right now first things first i will have a link down below to his website it's called xtravi.dev pretty much when you go in here there's gonna be a big button right here just literally click download and by the way guys i will put up the system requirements real quick uh let me actually list those off to you because he did dm me those System requirements, so you need a minimum spec of an i5 6600K um, for a minimum, and your recommended is i5 8400, so an HN i5, 6 Gen i5. Um, you can have a GPU wise, you need at least a 1050Ti, or he recommends a 1650 or GTX 63 gigabytes, or only 8 gigabytes of RAM. So pretty, pretty low specs, so you don't need too much. So here's how you can get the source code. I forgot to mention this, but if you click here, I'll take you straight to their, to his GitHub, where you can actually take a look at the code right here. So right in here, uh, the source code, so if you do want to look at it, there is that, or change your own stuff. Also next up, I do want to say that this does work on Mac, but you're going to have to use a workaround um, through... Uh, what is it? it's boot camp for Mac so pretty much that allows you to run Windows on Mac and you install it that way so I'm not just I don't have a Mac so I can't really show you guys how to do that but you can figure out how to run a boot camp and as soon as you figure that out you can just follow this video from there 
So we're going to click on download. So if you download it and this pops up X service, it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. The reason this is popping up is because this is a new download. Not a lot of people have used this one yet. It's new, it's fresh, and it's out there. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to scan it and it's going to be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go here and you're going to click key. All right, so this is only this might only pop up on Chrome, but if you go onto something like let me see, let's go on Microsoft Edge for a sec, for example. If I go here and I click download, boom, it just downloads right away. It's safe. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just Chrome likes to block apps that are new and just to keep you safe. However, I've already tested it and it's 100% safe. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm actually gonna drag this to my desktop. Sorry for my des messy desktop. It's just the way it is right now. All right, so I'm gonna put it down here. What you're gonna want to do is click right here, right click on it, hit extract all, and then once you do that, it's gonna go ahead and pop up something like this. And what you want to do is hit this button right here and press extract. So once it's done that, as you guys can see, it just pops right up onto your screen. And what you're gonna do is go right into here, and I'm gonna go ahead and scan the setup here and show you guys that it is safe. So I'm gonna right click on it, where it says scan with Microsoft Defender. Boom, it says there, just scanned, no current threats. So there you guys go. It's safe, 100% uh, easy to use. Now this is an easy setup. All you have to do is double click onto this folder here. It's a setup. Now this might pop up. Now, again, this the reason this pops up is because, like I said with, with the Chrome download, it's because it is a new file. So you're gonna wanna hit more info and hit run anyway. See, I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna show you guys there's nothing wrong. There's thousands of people who've used this and there's nothing wrong with the PC. If there was something wrong with the PC, we wouldn't even have this right now. This program wouldn't even be here. It'll just be gone. All right, so when this pops up, it's gonna say welcome. Go ahead and press next and you're gonna have to read through this if you want and press i accept hit next and make sure you guys let this here on full and let make sure you click on this button here so everything here is installed and this here has to be installed in order to get it um automatically installed for me hit install and you can show details if you want and then if you want you guys could go ahead and subscribe to extract me on youtube or join his discord server by the way you can just make sure you check those and hit finish all right let's do that and here you guys go uh subscribe real quick boom so i subscribed here and uh you can join his discord right here um i've already joined it so i'm not going to be doing that and yeah so pretty much from there it's done like it's installed there's nothing else to do all you're gonna want to do is open up a game of your choice so i'm gonna go ahead and head over to car crushers now all right from here guys actually there's i forgot there's always a couple more steps so the first thing you want to do is after you load in i don't know why there's some errors but like i said you're gonna want to make sure that you set your graphics to eight it cannot be full now, i do know some games work on full but most of the time it's eight so keep it on eight don't know why this is the case but it just is so just follow the rules i guess and what you want to do is go ahead and press uh f8 to start the tutorial so now if your keyboard sometimes your keyboard might have you press the function key which is an fn it looks like fn i'll put up some pictures on the screen and then you want to press the f8 and then you can skip the tutorial like there's no point and before we do anything i'm gonna head over to settings and here's where you can change your overlay key so if you don't want it to be this is the overlay this blue thing that pops up this is the overlay so if you don't want this to pop up, what you're going to want to do is change it to a different key. Like you can make it like the letter O or anything you want. And for the effect toggle key, I'm going to change that to zeros. Um, because on default, it's F7. But I'm going to keep it on zero because I like zero because I don't use zero. From here, you're going to want to click on default preset right up here. And you're going to pick the preset you want. So we're going to pick community ultra edit. Okay. And after this loads in. And there you go you guys got it now i'm gonna go ahead and press f8 and i'm gonna turn off these features like i said i don't like those features and let me go ahead and quickly get myself a car let me get turn the volume back on so there you guys go i'm actually gonna change it instead of community ultra i don't really like it i like the medium better but there you guys go you got it um you got it working let's go ahead and crash my car real quick or fail miserably okay all right there's also one other way of doing it so just what you're going to do is just click right click on roblox player more open file location right click again open file location and right in here you're going to want to delete some of the stuff which is opengl 
32.dll delete this and it should be gone let me actually delete it right now and show you guys so if i delete this is like actually this i would say this is easier way but if you don't know how to like get to that spot then you'd want to just uninstall roblox completely as you guys can see it's gone it doesn't work anymore so i would have to go back through and reinstall it uh, reinstall the reshades so guys if you guys actually enjoyed the video please do go ahead drop a like on the video subscribe as well as check out extravi's channel link will be down below for both his channel and his website and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.